remember that watching the ball hit the ground has to do with timing. Once the ball hits the ground, then it's time for the racket to go forward. So today I want to talk to you guys about why it is important to watch the ball bounce. So most of us, including myself, a lot of times don't watch the ball bounce. Why is it so difficult? And it's simply because of the priorities that we have at that moment, especially when the ball is really aggressive and coming towards us. Our priority is not really to watch the ball bounce. Our priority is to see if we did what we wanted to do, if we hit the ball and if it went in on the other side, right? So the priority needs to be to see the ball bounce on the ground. So what can you do to make sure that you're uh, seeing the ball bounce on the ground? So number one, luckily we're in Florida, so we, we get sun all the time. So you're gonna see a shadow, right? On the, on the ball. So two things that you need to watch for is when the ball touches the ground, you're gonna see the shadow of the ball on the ground right and then hopefully after the ball bounces the ball is going to leave a mark on the ground and also you're probably going to see some clay coming off after the ball bounced so if you concentrate on watching that happen i promise you your timing is going to get destroyed to do with rhythm then you're gonna be able to spend time watching the ball bounce spend time watching the ball hit the strings and then eventually you will have time to see the ball bounce on the other side so we play tennis so that it feels good not necessarily for results because if you do things correctly they should work right and if the other person ends up being a better player well then they win that day but the priority should be in in doing things correctly and actually having fun. Remember that watching the ball hit the ground has to do with timing. Once the ball hits the ground, then it's time for the racket to go forward. I have an exercise for you guys today. I want you to say bounce when the ball touches the ground and I want you to say hit when the ball touches the screen. And again, your timing is gonna get destroyed but you're gonna be able to spend time watching the ball hit the ground and then watching the ball hit the strings. So that's today's tip.